This is the Ryder and Lisa podcast. Brought to you by Yegg Property Pros. Powered by Real Broker. Get a realtor who knows. Call the pros. Time for what we learned this weekend. Kelsey hit us up and said, I learned that even if you stick to seltzers, you're still going to get a hangover because you're 30. Yeah. I learned that uh, I get cold sores. Yeah, we all knew that. No, you didn't. Yeah. Every Ryder? time you've been like, it's a pimple. We're it like, has been. Everybody else is like, no, it's not. It's always been a pimple or is it? Or an injury from like biting my lip or burning it. This time? No. Like, can't even deny it. It's a cold sore. And where'd you get it from? I have no idea. Ooh. I have no idea. <laughs> I've been retracing my steps. I do recall taking a sip out of somebody's drink and thinking to myself, hmm, they look like they get cold sores. Well, and you were smoking weed out of a pop can there last week. What? With a group of people. I don't smoke weed, but okay. Right. I remember that one time I smoked weed? And it was the first time you were introducing me to all of your friends after I was just put on your show. Mm -hmm. And you're like, she's so funny. She's so great. She's the life of the party. And I smoked weed and went mute. Yeah, I do remember that. And that was the first time all of your friends met me. We we really liked your boyfriend at the time. Yeah. He was was a good time. Yeah, well, thank goodness he was there (laughs) to step up because I sat in the corner. With your hands on your knees, I'll remember it forever. Just very quiet. Your turn. What'd you learn this weekend? (sighs) Well, I learned that uh, I'm here for the drama. Scotty Scheffler just crushed it at the Masters, and it was boring all weekend because he's too good. And he doesn't, like, fist pump. He doesn't swear when he has a bad shot. So he's a he's not fun to root for? He's just level-headed okay. and, like, chill. And he kind of pretends like it doesn't matter. Like, oh, he got, he's, like, bored to be there? He got interviewed, and he's like, yeah, my family... I'm not a, like, golf guy. I know I'm good at it, but, like, my family taught me how to, like, appreciate things like family and... Uh, time with them. This is just my job. Okay. And it took away so much of the sizzle. Like, you want people to sit there and watch you all weekend just doing a pastime? No, you want people that are like Tiger Woods that are like... Making history. Well, and just so emotional about it. So I need drama. I I like spark. I like sizzle. Okay. That's what I learned this week. So we don't care about who won the Masters. I guess not. But he's just so good. I'll probably bet on him again moving forward. How much did you win over the weekend? Eight bucks. Whoa! <laughs> a 17-year-old high school student in New York is in some trouble after, uh, you know, doing something that I think is quite ballsy and actually pretty badass. What but happened? Inappropriate. Was this at school? Yeah, he uh, faxed in his principal's resignation letter to, like, the school board. He wanted that guy gone. So faxed in the resignation letter saying like, hi, it's me, the principal. Um, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, he's been arrested and charged with criminal impersonation. Oh. So it didn't go over real well. But that's a pretty good move. Like if you're done with working with somebody, just quit for them. Also, you got to give this kid credit. A 17 year old that knows how to use a fax machine. Yeah, shout out. Big Whoa. things ahead for that kid. Yep. Going to take a run at putting an entire chicken in an air fryer today. If anybody has any tips, mm. would love to hear them. Yeah, like what are you smothering it with? Well, I think I, I I feel comfortable that I can whip up like a rub and sauce that'll be good. I'm just a little bit worried that like the wings and maybe the drumsticks will burn. So I might tinfoil oh. those bad boys up. Yeah, how does that work? Maybe the air fryer does all the work perfectly for you, though. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like knows. it would burn the outside and not fully cook the inside a bit because it's... But it literally has the option on it, like cook a full chicken, hit this button. Trust me, I've used it. Yeah, you used it for chicken breasts, though, and just turned them into dust. Yeah, that was an accident. I put two chicken breasts in. Hit the button. They were in there for like an hour. So this is why I'm seeking advice from the (laughs) listeners and maybe not you. True. No offense. It was good, dusty chicken. You just had to add like so much ranch to it. And you, I mean, you got, you got a good jaw workout. That's true. And if you like jerky. Yeah, it was chicken jerky. Chicken jerky. For sure. But yeah, as far as a full chicken goes, 
Do I have to be like spritzing it like I do with my smoker when I have a chicken on? Brittany just wrote in saying, what kind of air fryer do you have? I have the dual air fryer ninja. Same. Yep. And I tried to stuff a whole chicken in there. It literally did not fit. I had to pull it out and cook it in the oven. I was so sad. But I feel like the chicken you have is quite small. It is very small. It was one of those, you know, when they do the two for one sales yeah, at the yeah. grocery stores, but they're like the smallest chickens you've ever seen. Jessica wrote in, it'll work great. I've done it many times with no tin foil. However, if you're putting tin foil on the wings... Make sure that it doesn't touch the top of the elements. Yeah, then you, your house will set on fire. Is that what that means? I guess. I Dang. thought tin foil was fine in an air fryer. Maybe not. Maybe that ruins the whole experience of it circulating around the chicken. Don't ask me. Like, I can't even make itchy ban. <laughs> Uh, you made a bold statement on Twitter and got everybody fired up this weekend. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I remember hearing about this years ago, and then I was reminded in my girlfriend's group chat over the weekend that the birds that you hear chirping in the background at the Masters is fake. Like, none of those are real birds. They use a soundboard. In fact, this is going to seem kind of dark. Pretty sure they go out of their way to make sure no critters or birds disrupt the game. I don't know if I like that. Well, I could see them wanting like a lot of critters that would do damage to the perfection that is that course to not be there. Well, how is that any different than Alberta not wanting rats? It's different when it's a squirrel. Just let them run what? around. They're just fuzzy rats. Well, let them run across the course. No. Like, who cares? What if they're messing up the course? You going to let some beavers on the course and tear down some of the trees that are have been in the way of players' shots well, what are they for doing? centuries. What are they doing to these animals to prevent them from going yeah, on the just course? Just bait traps. I don't like that. But it was the birds chirping that really messed some people up over the weekend when I tweeted this out because it was blowing people's minds. These aren't real. That's Those are real birds. Yes, but they're not actually at the course. Pretty sure they hire people to like make sure animals don't make their way onto the course. Oh yeah, you're gonna get a human to stop birds from coming onto the course. Yeah, then they like have someone who's that's their job. Is it Dennis the Menace with a slingshot? What <laughs> yeah. do you think's happening? Pretty much, I wouldn't doubt it. See, you you talk about all this stuff like it's fast. So about uh, I don't know, like five years ago or so, they had the soundboard of birds, and somebody called them out, being like, "That bird does not exist in this area." It was really embarrassing. So maybe they should just let birds live their life. I think they do. No. There are birds there. I didn't see a single bird. Yeah, you watched for like 10 seconds. I watched the whole weekend. You saw a bird. No, I can't. Exactly. I can't say I noticed a bird, but I didn't notice. Exactly. I didn't notice the absence of birds. You should have. It's kind of strange. You have no, like, backing to this story. Oh, there's no animals anywhere on Augusta. There very well is. You know how they kept doing the shots of the rose garden? I didn't see a single bee. I know for sure there was a tiger on the course. Oh, good one. (laughs) This story with Donald Trump right now is, uh, is pretty wild, as he will become the first former U.S. president to face a criminal trial. Today they are choosing a jury, and one of the major focuses when it comes to choosing a jury is you want them to be impartial. But how... Can you imagine trying to find jury members that are like, yeah, I just think, you know, I, I don't really know him. I think he's okay. Like, that's just, it feels like it's an impossible feat. We'll see what ends up happening, though. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be interesting. Fairly certain he's almost got it locked in as he will be the Republican running in the How? next election. How is that even possible? Don't know. Him versus Biden was wild enough last time i cannot imagine like those guys are old yeah now. How, how have we not found younger candidates i mean i'm kind of here for the debate portion why well it's just gonna be a wild ride no it's gonna be painful i hate that you love watching train wrecks yeah i, do. I can't stand it i want like <laughs> biden to literally fall asleep on stage he will two old guys swinging canes no at each other. this is what it's gonna sound like okay this is no, no, no. <laughs> also that was a really good <laughs> snore. It, we just have to be talking over each other. The American well, in my people opinion, that, deserve that, that's more ridiculous. than this. Fake situation. news. Fake news. <laughs> that's what it's going to be for three hours straight. I'm not interested. I am. I have a couple questions for you. These are trivia questions. Okay. I saw a video that went viral over the weekend of a woman 
who was uh, staying over at a man's house. Okay. And when she went to use the washroom, she noticed a couple items in the washroom Mm -hmm. that made her question if he was actually single. Okay. Do you know what Olaplex is? No. Okay. Is it for teeth? It's for your hair. Okay. It's really good for bleach blonde hair to keep it nice and soft. Well, you're asking a bald man. Yes. Yeah, okay. Do you know Paula's Choice? I've never even heard of it, no. Okay. So Paula's Choice is a very popular exfoliator brand. Okay. Uh, They got a really good toner that everybody loves for your face, which you put on a cotton pad and it helps your skin. Just smooths it out, helps just, with blackheads. Okay, that's a... Your sit. complexion, like it helps smooth out your complexion. But it doesn't change your color at all? It doesn't like no. give you a bit of a tan? Okay. Do you know who Charlotte Tilsbury is? No. Okay, next question. What famous person owns the skincare line Goop's Jean? I feel like I can figure this one out. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's her name? <laughs> She was married to Seal? No, no, that's the wrong person. Okay, perfect. You passed this one as well. It's Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Okay. Um, Chris Martin is yes. who she was married to, yeah. Do you know what uh, Caudaline Serum is and how much it goes for at Sephora? Caudaline Serum, is that for under your eyes? <laughs> it's for your, your fa- entire face. Okay, so I would guess what size of bottle are we talking? It's like an average size. 40 bucks? Drop bottle, $120. Oh, boy. Okay. Perfect. Uh, what do you use to wash your face, Ryder? Shampoo. Exactly. Okay, so this woman <laughs> films all of these products in this man's bathroom. She's like, uh, is he single or does he have a girlfriend? And not only did I see all of those products, I also saw two sets of shampoo, which in my mind screams there's two people using the shower. Yeah, yeah. You know? Anyway, uh, in this economy, your best bet, in my opinion, is toss that all in your purse and make a run for it. Are you kidding me? Paula's Choice? Do you know how much that costs alone? Absolutely not. But now that you've set the bar with that, <laughs> a small bottle of that, whatever it was, serum can cost 120 bucks. Yeah, my like, God. You are crushing it with your two-in-one Axe body wash that you use to yeah. wash your face. So this guy has a girlfriend, right? Let us know what you think. So we're talking about this lady that stayed over at a guy's house who noticed a bunch of different beauty products at his place. He has a girlfriend or a wife, right? Ryder, do you even moisturize when you get out of the shower? No. Should I be? (sighs) You're doing just fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. I've always said a lot of this stuff, your body ends up craving after you start using it. Like Lipsol, for example. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you start using it, you start needing it. Exactly. Like mine are just always juicy. Okay, so majority <laughs> of the texters rolling in are saying that guy absolutely yeah. has a girlfriend. But I love Aaron's perspective. Maybe he's just very courteous to his single lady friends that he has over. No, he's not dropping six hundred dollars at Sephora. Everything's like organized too, like those organizers that you get from Amazon. Yeah, or yeah, like, yeah. Or Home Sense. <laughs> yeah. There's no way that that guy's going out of his way to purchase well, that. I think there's an easy way to tell. How is he glowing? True. Like, yeah, yeah. If he's got like <laughs> crusty face like the rest of us, who look like they just came out of a windstorm. Yeah, honestly, the amount of times in the morning, like during our morning show, that I'm like, Ryder. You have sleep in your eyes. Like, didn't you at least splash your face with water this morning? No. Yeah. You also told me this morning I had barbecue sauce on my face from dinner last night. Stuff (laughs) From 6 p.m. last night. I'm like, get it together. $1,000. It's Ryder and Lisa's 1K Wordplay. Brought to you by Out of Bounds Restaurant. For the first time in 1K Wordplay history, we have somebody celebrating their 50th birthday. Birthday who got through. What are the chances? What's going on, Eva? How are you today? Well, I took the day off work. Okay, even better. So you have the day off, it's your birthday, and you could potentially win $1,000. Uh, that would be a nice gift, yes. I say anything you win, take it immediately to the casino. Ryder! Yeah, <laughs> if you're feeling the kind of luck where you get through on this contest on your birthday, yeah. I mean, I... I I know. I keep that alive. Or go get a lottery ticket. Who knows? Okay, so Eva, you know how the game works, but we're going to just explain it for anyone who's perhaps listening for the first time. Eva is going to choose a teammate. They're going to leave the room, not here round one. 
The other host will give Eva five words, and Eva has 25 seconds to tell them the first word that comes to mind. We'll invite her teammate back in for every word that matches. It's $25. If all five match, we bump it up to 1000 So, Eva. Yes. Birthday girl, who is your teammate this morning? Lisa, you. <gasps> Me? Lisa, get out yes. of here. The last time somebody chose Lisa as a teammate, $1,000 was given away, by the way. All right. I'm going to start the timer as soon as I give you the first word, okay? Okay. And the first word is truck. Truck. Um, tires. Spank. Baby. Child. Maple. Syrup. Pilsner. Beer. And B. Like B E E. Um, buzz. All right. You're going to win some money. You never know with Lisa, too. She might just uh, go five for five here. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's do this. Let's do it. Lisa. Okay. For Eva, the 50-year-old birthday girl. Oh, I'm so excited. What is the first word that comes to mind when I say Pilsner? Beer. Uh, 25 bucks. What's the first word that comes to mind when I say maple? Syrup. $50. Let's keep it going. Spank. Spank? Oh, there's two words that are coming to my mind. What would Eva say? Okay, spank, I'm going to say butt. Uh, oh, no. Baby. I don't know why I said baby. <laughs> yeah, then afterwards she's like, I should have said child. I heard her say that because, yeah, you know, okay. you shouldn't have to You're spank thinking, a baby. Yeah, but. no, it's all good. All right. Okay. I don't spank baby. <laughs> what is the first word that comes to mind when I say B? Like B E E. Um. Bumble? Oh, first two letters were the same. Buzz. Oh, that's a good answer. That's a really good answer. Okay, so we got 50 bucks. We're going to try and give Eva $75 on her birthday. Come on. Truck. Um, driver. No. Ah, Tires. Tires is a good answer. Eva, happy birthday. You picked up 50 bucks. Hey, uh, you got a dollar for every year you've been around. There we go. (laughs) Too bad you weren't a thousand years old. Dang. (laughs) Have a great day and happy birthday. Thanks so much. Thanks for sharing the morning with us. We appreciate (laughs) it. That's so great. I can crush an entire series on Netflix, no problem. But if there's a movie that's three hours long, I'm not interested. Like, not a chance. Not a chance. How many hours did we crush of, uh, uh, what was that show we watched? Little Reindeer? No. Baby Reindeer. Baby Reindeer on Netflix, which, by the way, the guy starring in it, this is a true story about his life, something that happened to him, him dealing with a stalker. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's a good one. That is true, because you will refuse, even if you got like a free movie pass, and it's over two and a half hours. No chance. It's not happening. I'm not watching it. But yeah, I think I crushed like... Four hours, probably. Four hours of a show. (laughs) It was good. Highly recommend it. Axe Monkeys is hiring a new general manager. Uncle Dave, tell us about the gig. Well, the first perk is you get to work with me. So that's amazing right there. It's excellent. Everyone loves working with Uncle Dave because he's just so much fun. You get a company truck. You get a really good salary, profit sharing. And everyone that works here obviously gets tips. So if you're listening, you know how to schedule and manage people while having a great time. You might be right for the job. Where can people email you, Dave? Dave at AxeMonkeys.com. You're also on the hunt for some items for your rage room. What are you looking for specifically? Well, right now, we're axing for toilets. Um, <laughs> toilets are a huge, huge thing for people to rage on. And instead of putting them in the landfill, I mean, just drop them off at the front door at Axe Monkeys or, you know, shoot me an email, Dave at AxeMonkeys.com, and we'll arrange to get them picked up. So, toilets, also old appliances, dishware, glassware, anything that's fun to break, they will accept if you donate it. You can go there and smash it too if you want. Email Dave at AxeMonkeys.com or find them on socials at AxeMonkeysYEG. The Ryder and Lisa Podcast. Brought to you by Yegg Property Pros. Powered by Real Broker. Get a realtor who knows. Call the pros. Play 107.